Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quant update. Over the weekend, we had crazy price action in the market. So I want to look at the price chart one more time to see if we've broken anything or if we have broken anything structurally. Is it time to worry? Is it time to panic, right? We'll cover all those things in this video. We'll also talk a little bit about the main event of the week, which is the Fed rate high, right? Whether they're going to increase the rates or they're not going to increase the rate because it directly affects the markets, including quant itself, right? So before I do that, I just want to encourage you to delicately tap the like button. It really, really helps the YouTube algorithm. People looking for this kind of information will now be able to find it much, much, much more easily. Also, if you're interested in quant, which i'm sure you are subscribe to the channel because i do tier on quant on a regular basis right without me running my mouth too much let me get into the real stuff here so let's begin here uh by the chart on a daily time frame so last friday i made a video i showed you this falling wedge that we have right here you know we came up in a five wave count from the bottom right here uh on the quant price chart i mean we've been investigating this thing since whatever i mean it's been a month and a half or two so this is our face wave right here where you have one two three four five waves to the upside right and we we got rejected at this one right here and actually if you zoom the chart on a daily time frame you can see that uh, where we got rejected is exactly the 0.382 fib adjustment level right ever since then we have corrected forming this falling wedge right here so falling wedge is basically a bullish patterns and they've got about 66 percent success rate to which the price they get so this is really good to see because at least we have got 66 percent right to come and reach the price target which is here at 123 uh 121 sorry 121 dollars which is the top of the wedge right here so that's really nice to see another thing that you can see about this falling wedge is we broke out already from the falling wedge we had somewhat of a retest right we tried to go higher but uh, we are finding some resistance right here we also highlighted this level of resistance in the last video which ranges from the um 108 up until the i think it's 112.5 something like that right so yeah we are finding rejection there in what is looking like a double top right but it's not yet confirmed really because we haven't even broken the neckline let me quickly just draw this thing right here so you can visualize it right so this is our neckline of the double top if it's, if it's to play out like that right now we don't have confirmation that it's going to break to the downside here but in the case that it breaks to the downside right let's go ahead and try to measure what uh, it can be like the price to get here if we break to the downside which is a break and close below the neckline there would we'll take us to something like um oh my god this is getting interesting it takes us to 87.5 which is basically another area of support that we drew in the last video actually i would encourage you to watch the last video if you didn't watch it because uh, you know i'm kind of rushing right at the moment so i really can't rehash some of the things that we talked about let me quickly do that right let me go to the da daily time frame here and show you all the resistance that we have in the immediate short term and uh, the support lines that we have so we have this downward swapping resistance right here we also have got this support at the 88 dollar mark we also have got this resistance that we highlighted here starting at the 109 dollars up until the 12.112.5 dollars uh, there right so this is our immediate uh, major resistances at the moment and um, at the moment you can see that the price is in a range between this 109 region up until the um what can i say here the 88 dollar mark here so yeah, we are stuck in a range at the moment, but uh, we haven't broken anything structurally, I would say, right? If we'll be breaking anything at all in the immediate short term right here, it will be this double top you see right here. And the price target for that one also is coming right into support here. So uh, maybe it's confluence, but we haven't had something like that. We'd have to wait until we have a break and close below this level right here. But until then, this scenario is not in play just yet. We'd have to wait until we get a break and close below the neckline there, right? Other than that, we are still monitoring this falling wedge right here, which is bullish. I told you the price target, which is somewhere at uh, 121, 122 there about, right? I forgot to mention something here with the falling wedge. Uh, let me do this. Let me turn on my moving averages here. I turned on the 50 moving average and the 20 moving average. And you can kind of see that um, um, the rejection that we got from this from this um, resistance right here, right, for the retest of the falling wedge, we were supported by the 20 moving average here on a daily time frame. So that's really good to see. And uh, yeah, we had a bearish cross right here. Obviously, prices came down. But now it's looking like we'll be headed for a bullish cross in the coming few days or weeks or something like that on the quant price chart here, right? Now, what are the implications of hitting the price target with the falling wedge right here? We would essentially have created a pattern like uh, an inverse head and shoulders pattern. I've been talking about this since forever, man. At some point, it actually gets boring. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We have to mention it time and again. So 
will be uh, creating an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which is a bullish pattern, by the way. And the price target for this one is really optimistic because it's something upwards of two hundred and thirty dollars or something like that, which isn't too weak actually for for quant, to be honest. So yeah, we'll be waiting to see if the falling wedge here performs as we are expecting to go and hit the price target at 121 dollars 122 dollars in that region there right obviously on the flip side um if we continue to break to the downside here i mentioned this double top that we have right here but as i mentioned it's not yet confirmed even if it's confirmed the price target for this double top right here is just going into the line of support here so for the bearish scenario at the moment is uh, to break below eight, break and close below eight eight dollars there, and then you would have also created another head and shoulders pattern here. Let me quickly highlight it. So this is your head, this is your head and shoulders pattern here. If we would go ahead and break below eight eight, I'm sorry for you know being a little bit scruffy, but uh, yeah, here we go. This will be the head and shoulders pattern you would have created, and the price target for this one isn't too good, but let me not scare you with crazy price target that haven't happened just yet this is just a scenario i'm preparing for you that could happen on the quant prices so yeah these are basically the two things that we have at the moment uh in the immediate short term if i am to repeat one more time we are monitoring this falling wedge on a daily time frame here with a price target of about 121 122 dollars thereabout also we are monitoring this double top right here on the quant price chart to see if we're going to break and close below 90 97 dollars 0.5 98 dollars there and then we'll see if we even hit the price target which is here at uh, 88 dollars or something like that after that we'll be monitoring to see if we break and close below there because it would have confirmed this head and shoulders pattern there obviously we also have to take a look at the head and shoulders pattern to see if it's even legit before we start talking about price targets another thing that i wanted to show you was this uh, fixed range volume profile right here you can see that at the current levels we are sitting right here it's actually a very uh, high volume area right there is a lot of trading that goes around this region there if we drop it things could get bad for the quant price set but we are not yet there so we shouldn't be panicking at the moment but we have to keep it at the back of our minds right another approach that we could take for the bullish case on the quant price set is uh, through Elliott wave cons, right? I've already highlighted these ones, the five waves here. So we corrected right here. And um, obviously, Elliott wave waves are, are, are subjective, right? You see what you want to see. But uh, for me, this looks like A and an A, B, C correction already. So this would be suggesting that the correction is already done here. Sorry, I used the, the wrong thing, right? This would be an A, B, C correction here. So you have your A, B, C correction here, right into support in form of a falling wedge which will let me delete here because it's messing it's messing up with what i'm so yeah you essentially have five webs to the upside and you have your correction is an abc right here after reaching the 0.3 h2 retracement level and if you want to continue with elliot waves obviously there is simply no way of predicting the next elliot wave but uh you know if if you would go that route you would be saying that uh, the next wave would start from here and it's up upright at least forming the wave two of this if this is wave one this is wave two so forming the wave three of this whole thing right here so yeah we'll be waiting to see what exactly happens right here in the immediate short term right so yeah now moving on to the main event of the week uh which is the fed rate hike you can see that uh watch your guru posted here that goldman sachs says the stock market could fall another 26 percent if the fed gets too aggressive with the interest rate hikes right moving on to elon musk he said that a major fed rate hike risks deflation right so yeah you can see that uh, they are actually not in favor of um, another interest hike right so Kate would also thinks the same thing she goes on to say that the fed is solving supply chain issues by crushing demand and in my view unleashing deflation setting it up for a major pivot so yeah we don't know uh, when the fed is going to pivot but as you can see from the experts from the gurus they are not in favor of uh, another you know fed uh, interest so, yeah this is the main event of the week we don't know what the fed is going to be doing but uh, if they pivot i mean this time around markets will fly again if they uh, increase the interest rates um, probably markets are going to crash as the gurus right here are suggesting so that's pretty much it from me today thank you for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one take care bye